there are many solutions for acquiring digital signals from a large number of channels. Do a quick search, and you will find various options, ranging from $8 to $11 per channel. Expansion might create some problems, since there is no obvious way of stacking the boards. The basic Raspberry Pi can read 26 input signals through the GPIO header, but you suppose need more inputs for your application, or perhaps you must use some of these pins for other functions. Furthermore, since all GPIO pins are wired directly to the local processor, you put your system at risk if you connect inputs directly to external voltages. Sequent Microsystem 16 inputs for Raspberry Pi card has 16 optically isolated digital inputs. Each input can be individually jumper selected to accept voltages either from 3 to 24 volts or from 24 to 240 volts, AC or DC. The card communicates with Raspberry Pi using only the I2C port, leaving all the other 24 GPIO pins available for your use. It has also an RS-485 port, a power LED, and a push button that can be used to shut down the Raspberry Pi. Using the 16 inputs card you can build a scalable data acquisition system with industrial grade pluggable connectors for under $2 per channel. You can stack from 1 to 8 16 inputs cards on top of the Raspberry Pi and read from 16 to 128 digital inputs. A Node-RED interface lets you display the status of all the inputs in real time in the browser. You can also read the 16 inputs board using command line or Python drivers. For a small system you can mount your 16 inputs card directly to the Raspberry Pi. For larger systems, the DIN rail is the ideal mounting solution for industrial applications. Using the free DIN rail adapters included with pledges of more than one board, you can build an inexpensive, yet robust industrial-grade digital data acquisition system. Get your cards today for 20-40% to off MSRP and please let your friends know about this new Raspberry Pi system capability.